Hey everybody and welcome back. Today I want to take a look at an incident that happened last night at CFFC 94, Cage Fury Fighting Championship. And Ketag Pliev is a fighter on this card who ended up actually losing his left ring finger, right? And uh, I want to kind of take a look at the events that transpired and try to figure out if we can kind of narrow down when he might have lost the finger, right? It actually severed from his hand. And he finished out the round. Anyway, can't can't talk enough about the guy's toughness, but uh, let's get let's get cracking with breaking this thing down. So the first, I, I think the initial break is going to come at this point right here. Goodell is going to load up and throw a left high kick. Now what Pliev is going to do is bring his right hand up to his chin to defend, but he's going to bring that left hand across his body to try to catch and parry the kick that Goodell's throwing. Boom. But do you guys see how? Watch how the kick. Boom, it just blows right through that defense, right? So that's an indicator to me that Pliev didn't get his palm on the shin or the ankle or whatever the fuck you want to call it, right? And you're going to see here in just a couple seconds, hands go high to defend to kind of prepare himself for the follow-up from Goodell. And immediately it's going to drop and watch. He'll start playing with his finger here. Look, playing with his hand, playing with his hand. Hands are down. He's clearly trying to put his finger back in place. So I'm pretty sure that that's the point where the initial break happens. Look, playing with his finger, playing with his finger, and his hands only come up when Goodell starts offering offense. Now, he's going to continue fighting throughout this whole entire first round, right? Fast forward through all this, uh, pretty competitive round, but he continues to fight throughout that entire first round with a broken hand, or a broken finger, I'm sorry. So now we're on to the second round. And in the second round, at some point during this round is when the finger falls off. So we're going to try to find that point. And I think the best way to do it is Let's just identify some points where he still has his finger and try to find out when he doesn't, right? So the first good view we're going to get is right around the 340 mark or so, right there. Do you guys see how you can count the first three fingers of his? Like you can see his thumb, his index, his middle, and his ring finger. Can't really see his pinky, but right there we have some visual evidence that he still has all of his appendages attached, right? So now let's fast forward about 20 more seconds or so, and I think we'll still be able to see it. I think we're looking for around the 318 mark here. A little bit tougher to see, but right there, ah, that's that's actually a pretty good view. You can see all four of his fingers there, right? Index, middle, ring, and pinky. So we, at this point, we still have a finger. Good news for Pliev, right? Now let's fast forward to about the two-minute mark or so. And I know when I slow this thing down, guys, it's a little bit blurry here and there. I apologize for that. I, I need like better slow motion software or some shit that captures these frames when they're not so blurry. But uh, anyway, coming up right here. You're going to be able to see the left hand around the back there. It's not the best view, but you can still kind of see, right? You can kind of see all four fingers there still intact again, and you can see the little nub sticking out uh, from the ring finger right here, right? This left hand that's wrapped around the waist of uh, Gadale. So, all right, we're at the two-minute mark, and we still got all of our fingers. Now I want to kind of – oh, here's a, here's a little bit of a better view too, just kind of uh, right there, right? You can still see the little nub, like I said, sticking out. It's clearly broken. Like, it's not extended as far as the other fingers. It, you know what I mean? It's kind of bent. But uh, he still has it. So now I want to fast forward to around the 140, 138-ish mark or so. And I think we get another pretty good view. Right? But I think coming up here, the sequence that we're going to look at, this grappling sequence. Look, Pliev takes him down to the ground here. And right there. Right? 138. Look, pinky, ring, middle. And you can still see the little nub of his ring finger showing through there. Like I said, it's broken, so it's not as extended as far as the other fingers, but it's still there. Now, we're going to try to take a look at the transition where I think it's kind of hard to see. Like, the finger doesn't it doesn't fall off and fall on the mat or anything like that, right? I read that they found it in his glove and then they reattached it, so it's hard to tell. But notice that starting at the 130 mark here, Gadale is going to grab the left wrist of Pliev and shove it across his lap. And look what he does, guys. This is highly illegal. Immediately starts looking for a grip on the glove. He's not even really, like right there, there's an obvious view for the referee. Referee should have caught that, right? I mean, granted, we're slowing this down. It's much easier for, for us to catch it, blah, blah, blah. But look at that. Blatant glove grab. I mean, he's really pulling on that thing there, right? He's inside the glove with his own fingers and pulling it across his body. And he's doing this because he knows that Pliev wants to block his right hip, like, Pliev wants to block this hip, the right hip of Gadel, with his left hand. So what's Gadel doing? Negating that by cheating, essentially, right? 
you can see how it's off balancing Pliev and everything here. And uh, it just so happens that he's also grabbing the glove that the finger's broken on, right? So let's fast forward a little bit more here. And it's going to be, you don't really get a good view of his finger while it happens, right? But I'm going to try to point out the moment where I'm most suspicious that the separation actually occurred. And that's right here. I think at this point, Pliev is going to get super frustrated and he's going to pull off this big lunging motion to try to break the grip and get his elbow on that right hip of Goodell that we said he wanted before to block that hip off, right? Watch, look at this. Big lunging motion. And I think that right there, and you can see there's a view right here where the fabric is really stretched out. I'm almost positive that that's the point where the finger actually gets severed, right? Now, if we fast forward, like I said, there's not a whole lot of good views that you can look at. You can try to slow it down, but it's fucking blurry. I've looked at it a million times, guys. But when we stand up here, we're going to hit about the 30-second mark or so. And when he weaves his hand inside and kind of in between himself and Goodell, that's when you're really going to get a good look at the fact that the finger, right there. Look, <laughs> now you can count index, middle, pinky, and there's nothing where the ring finger is, right? And there's, a, there's another view of it here at 20 seconds where it's even more obvious. Let's see if we can find that. Or maybe it's 19. Yeah, I think it's 19. I think it's coming up right there. Look at that, guys. Obvious. <laughs> the finger's gone at this point, right? So it definitely happened in that transition. And like I said, I think the exact moment when it happened. Well, let me do this. Let me fast forward to the end a little bit so that we can see the actual injury, right? And get a look at what happened a little bit clearer. Now, right there, nasty. I mean, but you can see the ring finger's gone. Pinky's still intact. And look, there's nothing there, man. So what I think happened is, do you see this white tape right here? I think that when Goodale was pulling on that, he pulled that tape up over top of this pinky. And it put a tremendous amount of pressure on this ring finger. And somehow it got lost or caught in the glove or whatever and got severed, right? There's a medical doctor who does like breakdown videos. I believe his name is Brian Studer. I should know how to pronounce his name. I'm subscribed to his channel, but you should check that out. He can give you way more like detail about the actual injury itself and shit. The point of this is just kind of pinpoint when exactly it happened, right? But at that point, let me see if we can rewind to it again. Where did I say it was? It's like right around the 130 mark or so or some shit. Right in here, I think, right? Do, do, do. Yeah, glove still caught here. Glove still caught here. Glove still caught, still caught. Boom, and there's the big motion, right? I think that's what did it. And right there, you can see how far it stretched out. Like, I think in this moment right here, the fabric of the glove got lifted up over top of the pinky and somehow severed it off. Like I said, kind of hard to see exactly what happened. Uh, I got to fucking turn those notifications off so they don't keep popping up. But you'll see, like, I think that's just kind of where the frustration boiled over. So he did a big movement to kind of get his positioning back and try to break that grip on the glove. And you'll see here in a second, too, guys, look. He turns his hand upward and he looks up at the ref. He's like, hey, he's holding my fucking glove, man. Ref starts to step in to do something about it. L delayed reaction a little. I mean, we're slowing it down, right? But he lets go of it immediately, right? So Goodell definitely got away with one here, man. And it was just a fucking crazy incident. Like, you know, you think you've seen all the injuries that you can see in MMA and then some shit like this happens. So it's wild. It's probably going to bring up a discussion about what we need to do about the gloves. Because also the gloves are just inefficient, guys. Like you can even see like when guys, like right here, like when guys base on their hands, look, look at, look at Goodale's fingers. There's no way that like your, your fingers don't have full flexibility. You can't even really flatten out your hand, right? Your fingers get bent in all sorts of weird positions that they really shouldn't when you're wearing these gloves. So there's a lot of efforts to rethink them and stuff like that. So whatever, but a bizarre injury. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought down in the comments and fucking crazy, man. Thank you for tuning in and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.